start my day off with some black coffee with some fasting drops. I've been doing about 12 drops in my black coffee and it actually makes it taste pretty good. I like it. What are you drinking? What are you drinking, Levi? I'm a green drink. Green drink? Is it good? Yeah. I am just sitting here sipping on some water with electrolytes, just using the Keto Chow electrolyte drops um, while I watch the replay of my dear friend Lindsay's live from yesterday, uh, while I'm also waiting for a video to upload that I just finished editing. So that's how my morning is going, still on a clean intermittent fast. It's 1048 and I'm ready to break my clean fast. Um, I started my fast last night at seven, actually 748. So it's exactly 15 hours uh, fasted, which is a good amount for me. Usually I'm somewhere between 14 or 16. Nothing too intense, not doing any one meal a day or anything like that, but um, getting that few extra hours of not eating in the morning has been really good for me. So I'm breaking my fast the way I usually do with my athletic greens. No, this post is not sponsored. If you haven't heard my story about how I started very reluctantly taking athletic greens and my experience with them so far, um, I'll put the video up in the cards of my wellness Wednesday where I talk about it. It has been really, really good for me. I'm just super happy with the benefits that I have seen from taking it. I feel like I'm able to intermittent fast more because I've been taking it. It's like covering all of my nutritional bases and my body is very, very happy with it. So it's working. So I'm going to keep going. I don't know exactly what in it that is doing the thing that is making me feel so much better or if it's a combination of things. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's working and I am really enjoying it. So I'm going to show you how I mix this up, which is super simple. So it just... Looks like that, green powder. We got our nice little scoop. My little cup that I put my one scoop in. And I add my vitamin D drops. They're up here. We got this for free on our first order. So easy to add. I just mix with a straw. It dissolves in there pretty easily. Sometimes there's some little chunks, but they're pretty easy to work through. And then I like to add a couple of ice cubes just to make it nice and cold. It's very refreshing, especially now that it's summertime and that's ready to drink. So by this time in the morning, I'm usually like hungry, not hungry, but just feeling empty, like I need something. And I find that if I drink this, it takes that away completely, even though, I mean, there's not a lot of calories to this. It feels like I ate a meal after I drink it, like as far as my satiety levels. And I'm thinking that like all the nutrients that it provides, it like sends the signal to my body like that I'm good on nutrients and it kind of takes away that need, that hunger, that nutrient hunger. I don't know. I don't know anything scientific about it. I just know how it makes me feel. And it's kind of, it's kind of magical. So I am going to be sipping on this. And then I usually enjoy having a cup of coffee with cream uh, a little while later, kind of whenever I feel like it after this. And then I just wait until I'm hungry and then eat a meal after that, whenever that is usually somewhere between noon and 2 PM ish. Hey girls, guess what came? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a big box. <laughs> I knew it. Here, open it up. See, see what I ordered. Oh my goodness! White cheddar. That's what pounds. Levi wanted. He wanted white cheddar. I think I got a eight pack of white cheddar what? and an eight pack of ranch. What? Renee loves ranch. What? <gasps> <laughs> and I stocked up on your favorite salt and vinegar seasoning. I'm gonna make potatoes tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got some more ranch. We love that one. And then this was a new one. Levi saw the white cheddar and he thought it sounded so good. So he'll probably try it on some popcorn or some broccoli or something. And that was, we got two of the ranch. 
And that's what that's what we ordered from Port King Good. It's getting close to 12:30, and I'm gonna do my coffee with a little bit of my A2 cream. I try to do like one and a half tablespoons, which is about 20 grams. But it's hard to talk and do something at the same time. Yep, went over. <laughs> 25 grams. I'm going to sip on this and then whenever I get hungry, I'll go ahead and cook my lunch. Wind it up? Yeah. Uh, sure. It is a quarter to two now and I'm about to leave with the kids to go swimming so I figured I really should eat before I go um, and I am getting pretty hungry so it works out well. This is six ounces of New York strip steak. I just seasoned it with the um, ranch pork king good seasoning super yummy and then this is something i was experimenting with last night i was making like a jello pudding type thing with um the perfect keto strawberry mct oil powder and egg white protein powder and i haven't tasted it yet let me taste it real quick see if it's good mm. yeah i think that's pretty good i'm gonna have to do a video on the recipe for that um i had made one a few days ago and it wasn't quite the right flavor and sweetness and uh, so I was trying again and I think this one is better. I'm headed out with the kids to the pool. I mixed up my electrolyte drink to take with me in the car. Uh, since it's my eating window now, I'm having my yummy electrolytes uh, with the sweetener. Um, it's as always, a blend of the Redmond Relight, one scoop, and one scoop of the Perfect Keto Daily Electrolytes, and that's my 40-ounce cup. That's what I like. And we are headed out. It's been really fun to take the kids to the pool recently. That's been a good way for me to get a little bit more movement into my life. That's one of my goals right now is just to up the movement a little bit. Nothing too intense. Just move. Are you ready to go swimming? Yes! You look like you're ready. Yes! Let's do it, man. Yeah!
It's 6.30 and I am ready for dinner. I had a little bit of steak left over from the big steak I cooked at lunch. Uh, it was just like almost three ounces left. And so I'm having that with two fried eggs and um, two egg white crepes with a little bit of butter and some RX maple syrup. And then I made hollandaise sauce, although I committed the sin, the cardinal sin of hollandaise sauce making, which is leaving it unattended for too long. And it got a little bit too cooked. So it's not as creamy as it should be, but it still tastes delicious. So I am going to dig into this. Here are my calories and macros for the day. I got a total of 1,752 calories. I got 126.8 grams of protein and that was 31.2% of my calories. I got 118.2 grams of fat and that was 65.4% of my calories. And then I got 13.8 total carbs, which came in at 3.4% of my calories. All in all, a pretty average baseline diet day.